iPhone 7 Plus display assembly replacement remove the two 3.4mm pentalobe screws at the bottom of the iPhone. Place the opener in the center of the microwave. Heat the opener 30 seconds throughout the repair procedure. As the eye opener cools, reheat it in the microwave for an additional 30 seconds at a time. Remove the eye opener from the microwave. Holding it by one of the two flat ends to avoid the hot center, lay the warm eye opener over the lower edge of the phone to soften the adhesive holding the display in place. Apply a suction cup to the lower half of the front panel. Just above the home button, pull up on the suction cup with firm, constant pressure to create a slight gap between the front panel and rear case. Insert the flat end of a spudger into the gap while pulling up on the suction cup. Twist the spudger to widen the opening between the screen and rear case. Insert the flat end of the spudger between the front panel and the rear case at the lower edge of the iPhone. Slide the Spudger up the left edge of the phone starting at the lower edge and move towards the volume control buttons and silent switch. Breaking up the adhesive holding the display in place, remove the spudger from the left side of the phone and insert the flat end into the bottom right corner. Slide the spudger up the right edge of the phone to the top corner. Breaking up the adhesive holding the display in place, pull up on the suction cup to lift up the display and open the iPhone. Pull up on the small nub on the suction cup to remove it from the front panel. Slide an opening pick underneath the display along the top edge of the phone to loosen the last of the adhesive. Pull the display assembly slightly away from the top edge of the phone to Disengage the clips holding it to the rear case. Open the iPhone by swinging the display up from the left side, like the back cover of a book. Remove the following four tri point y o o o screws securing the lower display cable bracket to the logic board. Three 1.2 m screws own 2.6 mm screw. Remove the lower display cable bracket. Use the point of a spudger to lift the battery connector out of its socket on the logic board. Use the flat end of a spudger or a fingernail to disconnect the two lower display connectors by prying them straight up. From their sockets on the logic board, remove the three tri point y o o o screws securing the bracket over the front panel sensor assembly connector. One 1.3 mm screw to 1.0 mm screws remove the bracket. Disconnect the front panel sensor assembly connector from its socket on the logic board. Remove the display assembly. Remove the four Y O O O screws securing the bracket over the home touch ID sensor. One. 1.1 mm screw 3 1.3 mm screws remove the bracket that secures the home touch ID sensor disconnect the home touch ID sensor cable by carefully prying open its press connector carefully pry up the remaining bottom portion of the press connector which is lightly adhered to the home touch ID sensor cable beneath flip the display assembly over and apply a warm eye opener to the home touch ID sensor area for about 90 seconds using an opening pick. Carefully slice through the adhesive holding the home touch ID sensor cable to the back side of the display panel. Remove the home touch ID sensor assembly.